Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I have a master's degree in nursing education. I'm also a family nurse practitioner. In today's video, I will be doing my first ever nurse practitioner reacts to memes. I absolutely love memes. I How do I cope with life by using humor? I've gone through so much stuff that uh, if I didn't laugh at it, I would be in a corner crying. So... <laughs> So I love memes, okay? Humor is one way. It is very cathartic. It is uh, very therapeutic. All right, so let's get started. But first, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe. It makes you turn on the notification bell. Let's go. Okay, the first one. Okay, the first one. When you tell a student not to break sterile field for the third time, but you still want them to learn. <laughs> so when students are first learning um, the sterile field, they're breaking it constantly, even when we're just doing simulation. So if you tie their if you tie their gown back, there's there's no one they, there's no way they can break sterile field. It says pages doc um, or calls doc, whatever you put a call out, the, the doctor calls back, and it's like. Hi, I'm calling about Mr. Uh, the guy in 217. Mm, what's his name? You know, Bob. So when you first start and you're a newbie nurse, you get so scared and flustered when the doctor calls back or the healthcare provider and you're just like, hi, I'm, uh, I'm calling about. And there was a few doctors that if you didn't have all your information like ready to go rapid fire, they'd hang, they'd hang up on you. Like they'd be like, call me back when you have all the information, click. So like uh, you never knew who you were going to get on the line and who was going to be nice or mean to you. But yeah, sometimes when you get flustered like that, like you would just feel so incompetent. The Tibetan sand fox carries the same resting expression as the nurse who didn't get the Ativan order they requested. Definitely salty, salty, salty. This is one salty nurse. <laughs> When you have a patient acting out and you know you need that out of van and you don't get that order, it's very frustrating. Patient closes their bathroom door. Me. <laughs> All right. So the reason why this is funny is because so many times patients will be like, yeah, I can make it to the bathroom by myself, blah, 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 blah. And like you just have that gut feeling that they're a fall risk or that they shouldn't be going and you just you don't want anyone to fall on your shift so that's why you're like stalking them to make sure they don't fall all right so nursing management and leadership is at the bottom there and then it's like hire new staff and no pizza overwork current staff and order pizza and they're like what decision do i take ah. i will never understand why i literally when i was uh working bedside i i literally compiled a report and i told my unit manager how much it costs for nurse turnover and annually it's around eighty thousand dollars which is more than a bedside nurse makes in florida per year so um i put together how much turnover costs for them versus like it's more cost efficient if they actually properly staff the unit and staff didn't leave it's just so frustrating as a bedside nurses we are so overworked um and it's you know it may not be like that everywhere it may not be like that at all hospitals but where i worked we were overworked understaffed chronically i just got fed up with it so that's one reason i left bedside um and it just seems like common sense like don't waste your budget on stupid stuff like pizza parties and water bottles and bags like i rather you save that money and just hire more nurses to help us instead of us running around like chickens with our head cut off um but yeah they never listen to us your sundowner in the morning and scene <laughs> Oh my gosh, you will get these cute little elderly individuals that turn into little gremlins when the sun goes down. Just like we call it sundowning and um, they just go cray cray, like off the walls. And then morning comes and they're like, it's seen. And they're back to little sweet old grandma. Shout out to snarky nurses. Why would a fly land on something like this? Rats should be ashamed for falling in this trap. Bears, this is ridiculous. 
And then here you go walking into nursing school. This must be fun. <laughs> Legit, nursing school was one of the hardest, one of the worst experiences I've ever gone through. I was always stressed. Every checkoff, every, oh my gosh, every checkoffs were the worst. I'd be like going in there, especially for the sterile field one. I'd be like, did I break sterile field? It was rough. It was rough. It was rough. When that GI bleed hits your nostrils for the first time of your career, I can relate. And it was like, manager, hey, can you pick up a shift on Tuesday? We're short staffed. Me, mm, sorry, I can't. I'm really busy Tuesday. Me Tuesday. <laughs> Kittens in 3D. Me, I don't live to work. I work so that I can live. Oh, I love, I love the office. I love inside jokes. I'd love to be part of one someday. Oh, I remember I, when you first go on that unit and it's your first day, you were so scared. You don't know where anything is. You're like, oh my God, I know nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, that was the last meme. If you liked this uh, reaction video, then leave a comment below. And uh, you could even send me your favorite memes, memes at nursingwithprofessorb at gmail.com and I'll see if I include them in my next meme reaction video. All right, until next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.